you're gonna get these rewards here is what you need to spend time wise crystal wise and dollar wise Hello gang, welcome to the channel and today we're gonna go through a PvP video and it's all about Timeland Battle. I'm gonna show you my try in the previous week to go into Challenger of Timeland Battle, uh, the games I played against uh, multiple enemies and it's pretty much 20 uh, different uh, you know times I went against enemies. And I'm gonna show you how I use my sentry, my silver surfer and my Adam warlock at manual and with the CDPs I already have on them. It's not like super builds, yes there is some brilliant eggs here and there, there is a mighty conquest and there is a mighty greed. Uh, but generally my account for PvP is not like super super duper stacked. But uh, yeah, it's supposed to be really good and yeah, I was trying to pull out uh, some really good gameplay for you and show you how I was trying to do it. I was really hyped having my sentry with a PvP build and I want to see how I can utilize the, him on the max of uh, his potentials, you know. So I'm gonna share with you my opinion into Timeline Battle uh, that uh, lately has transformed into something uh, super paywall. To be honest and yes we're gonna see some gameplay we're gonna talk about timeline battle and what you need to spend in order to get a place on the top 100 to get in top 25 and get in challenger is even harder so yeah i'm gonna show you my own perspective and what i end up doing in a week worth of trying so before we go through the gameplay guys i want you to make sure that you have smash the like button subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell and also let me know how are you playing timeline bubble are you just auto play do you play manual you play a bit you are going every week for challenger you're playing on the top level you don't even play it you know i get everything you're gonna say me and i always enjoy having a healthy conversation about the game and how we can ask from the dev to make it better so i already show you the builds Let's go through and see what I was trying to do through all week. First of all, you're trying to avoid all the tier 4s. If you can find tier 3s on the timeline bubble right now, you're going for them. And every single time I was going against a sentry, even at level 80, I was trying to get my silver surfer and reflect some damage on him. And the moment I have done some damage on the enemy, uh, you know, on the enemy, Sentry, I was swapping into my sentry and trying to kill him while he had no skills to use or while he had take some damage from my reflect of silver surfer. Yeah, I almost get choked, but yeah. The point is with sentry to spam his second skill. You don't need a specific rotation to go and work on and that's for uh, everyone in timeline battle, you know. You can't go there and say to a dude, you know, press 4, cancel 5, cancel 2 or something. The skills you are using depending on what the enemy is doing. So here Thanos completely dismantled me. I was trying to take uh, his life and swap into my sentry to do the rest of the job. Of course, you want to focus and kill all the enemies with one of your characters. If you do that, you're getting an extra 5 points each time you're winning with the same character, the three enemies, so you need to do like hat trick, triple kill, to say it, whatever you want it. Uh, you can see at, at the end, I let to, you to see how many points I was getting and I was trying to play always uh, with the enemies, give me the maximum points, you know, all the week. The previous week's meta characters was actually Wolverine, Silver Surfer and Sentry. Sentry as leadership and most of the people was using Sentry as the first character and I was trying to use Adam Warlock, Sentry and Silver Surfer as a counter for these teams. Also, a lot of enemy teams was using Colossus. When the enemies are using Colossus and uh, combined with Sentry, Sentry has really, really strong uh, stats and he's not dying at all. Here, I just did a hat trick with my Silver Surfer. You, got, you can see that when I'm playing with my Silver Surfer, I'm quite good with a Brilliant Egg. 
I'm always trying to kite enemies, reflect them over and over, and when there is the perfect moment, I go into my third skill. Here I have my sentry going against an enemy sentry, and you can see I prioritize my second skill. The moment I see my second skill is ready, I'm going for it. I'm going for it every single time. Here I used my silver surfer to do some reflect, and you see my third skill counter attack him in the face and kill him. Uh, most of the times, if you are going to fight, you know, the maximum uh, level enemies, the top 100 dudes, you know, it's really strong and it's really hard to go against them. As you can see here, this tier 4 Thanos killed me twice and after my sentry made him. Uh, but yeah, I, we're talking about playing uh, in this state of the game like this, like crazy, for like 7 days, 8 times actually, not 7, it's 8 because it's the refresh that happens in between the day on the last day of the week. So you're playing eight times from uh eight times ten matches of timeline battle and you need to go through all of them with victory if you want to have any chance to go into the top 100 and you're gonna see what's happening when you're going into uh the last moment before the weekly reset i let it in the end to show you how the rankings was look like last week I feel like Timeline Battle has go crazy and the people are playing Timeline Battle right now, uh, they just wanna join uh, Challenger and in my mind Challenger of Timeline Battle is really cool, all the buffs, all the effects, the immortality, uh, artifact that doesn't really count, uh, it's a special, you know, a special place that you can go there and build unique teams uh, with unique buffs. Of course, there is a meta there too, but uh, it's way more interesting the way the revenge system it is, you know, it's worth getting uh, a place into the challenger and play uh, against the very best characters, the very best players of the game. But in the same time, you end up spending more than what you are getting in most of the times. And the point here is that people are not realizing how much gold, how much uh, crystals and money they're spending in order to get into a league and get some crystals. If you put them down, most of the people that manage to go into the challenger, in my opinion, has no profit. Only like 10 guys has profit. The rest of the people is like in a hamster wheel and going around spending crystals, spending money into sealed support and uh, to get more crystals from the game after. But in my mind, you know, uh, doesn't really work. I'm gonna explain into the end. Let me show you a bit my gameplay here. I prefer, you know, uh, this is a hat trick I was trying to do with my Silver Surfer also. Silver Surfer is still the meta. You can see eight three points there. Uh, it's, it means that I had to go against the high level enemies, 78 points, plus the five points from Ace I took because uh, I used my Silver Surfer. I was trying to do Ace with my Silver Surfer all the times, but I had him first also because uh, of the Reflect. Uh, the Reflect that you can do against Sentry. Sentry has immunity on the Reflect when he has his Mighty Conquest or Mighty Grid up. In the start of the game, he doesn't have, so he's doing some Reflect until he goes into, he's getting some Reflect until he goes into his fifth skill. Well, into his fifth skill, he is on an iframe and he's not getting any damage. Here you can see the reason I hold my Adam against Wolverines. I didn't build Wolverine, so I had to have Adam. If I have Colossus in my team, it's an option also, but I don't feel comfortable using, you know, only two characters when I can use three characters that all of them three have revives. You can see here, I'm trying to find every single time a team that has no full tier 4s. Uh, but yes, last week, guys, everyone, everyone was pushing timeline battle. And the people does not realize that if there is more people pushing and more people pushing and more people pushing, the value of the rewards at the end of the day, it's not the same, you know. 
If you if there is like 300 people trying to put themselves into a place with 100 winners, you know, and all 300 start spending crystals, I mean, what's the point? Getting yourself into a league that's going to provide you some crystals, that's a reward, the crystals. There there's no other rewards in the timeline battle right now. People is pushing timeline battle in my mind because others has tell them that they need to do that to get crystals other than that there is no a single way this past season at least you know the previous week people went into value for timeline battle without spending real money or spending at least the crystals they just took or perhaps less and i'm talking about you have to consider that if you just play your uh, timeline battle without refresh in the end of the week, you're supposed to get 220 crystals. So you need to understand that these 220 have to go minus the final reward you took on timeline battle. So let's say that you were like in uh, top 50, in top 50, you would get 1,000 crystals. Yeah, I'm gonna go through rewards later on and do some maths to let you know my point of view let's keep up in the gameplay here and you can see when i'm going against sentry i prioritize my second skill because your second skill is the most important skill in the game the skill that can help you to stay alive when i have against me silver surfer i'm using only the second skill to go close to him and when it's in the start you know the reflect it's still refreshed so silver surfer is killing you way easier than in the rest of the fight here every single time with wolverine you saw there before my uh before my sentry died i threw a fifth skill the fifth skill stays there and do damage to the enemy wolverine and after his you know his immortality pop out while you dying and then the character that is gonna come gonna find a wolverine without the immortality uh, or at least a Wolverine with the immortality being on a small period of time until it goes off. Here I'm going against Sentry with my Silver Surfer. I'm trying to get the maximum out of my Silver Surfer there. And I did double kill Adam Warlock. I did kill enemy Silver Surfer, but Thanos teach me a lesson there. And yes, yeah, Thanos sometimes, guys, it's really annoying. He's not going down. He's not going down. Uh, yeah, he is a surprise. Sometimes I feel like I, I'm digging. I'm digging a mountain and the mountain is not going down at all, you know. He's really strong. Only Sentry makes me proud every single time. Silver Surfer and Adam Warlock really struggles against Thanos sometimes. Some other times, yeah, when their skills and effects are off from CTPs and stuff, uh, it's way easier, but uh, yeah. Here you can see I aim again for a tier 3 sentry, level 80. And yeah, to have my life easier actually. You can see here every single time when I see Silver Surfer popping his skills, I'm going out. So I move myself out of the area of effects, damages that going on. And then I'm going in with my second skill. Second skill for uh, sentry, it's the most important skill. And after, I would say the fifth skill. The only way you don't want to spam your skills and you want to go into a play, like I told you, only with the second skill, is against enemy Silver Surfer. If you go against enemy Silver Surfer and you drop your fifth skill, even if you kill Silver Surfer, when Silver Surfer is going to revive, uh, because he's going to have the reflect for with 100%, you know, the reflect of Silver Surfer can reflect a specific amount of energy, uh, depending on his energy attack. So if you kill, if you're hitting a Silver Surfer and he's doing some reflect on you, uh, there is a cap, he can't reflect everything. So when he revives, the reflect is resetted. So every single time Silver Surfer uh, revives, he reflects more damage than before he dies. So you want to avoid it every single time. Uh, he's reviving. Also, same thing uh, like uh, fifth skill of Sentry is fifth skill of Silver Surfer and fifth skill of Adam Warlock. You don't want to use fifth skill of Sentry and fifth skill of Silver Surfer or fifth skill of Adam Warlock because all of these skills 
are dropping down in the ground, you know, an area of effect damage. And when Silver Surfer popping out, he is just reflecting in your face and kill you immediately. Perhaps in these clips I have done this mistake sometimes, but I can't really remember as we're seeing here. Perhaps we pass through it. Uh, but you can see here, I'm trying to have uh, a enemy Adam Warlock close and lock every single time. Uh, Hulk also helps a lot with his uh, on, as a striker, even with his new uniform, uh, his old uniform, it's the best to go for. For Silver Surfer, a really good striker, except Adam Warlock that I'm using, it's Logan. Uh, Wolverine, Wolverine, it's one of the best strikers in the game for PvP with Spider-Man, uh, with Adam Warlock and with Hulk perhaps. Yeah, this four, it's the best for PvP and especially Timeline Battle. But yeah, I'm using uh, with Adam Warlock here, I think I use Silver Surfer just to get the maximum out of my tier 4 skill with my Adam Warlock because uh, for PvP, you know, Silver Surfer and Adam Warlock, I think they have both reflect on the tier 4 skill and I was trying to get the maximum out of this stat. That's why I was using Adam Warlock for my Silver Surfer and Silver Surfer for my Adam Warlock because they are the only order PvP character I have built it. Uh, so yeah, I was using vice versa them on the striking ability. You can see here my stri my sentry is striving against enemies. He's really tough, but you can see struggles against Thanos again. I killed him, but took me a lot of time. And only Wolverine here strips me down and uh, letting me cry here and there. I think I killed him in the end of the day. No, I didn't. Yeah, but I enabled his immortality so my Adam Warlock could one shot him. And that's why I didn't use Colossus, you know, I wanted to have a reality uh, checker there, Adam Warlock, second, boom, kill every single time. Adam is no joke, guys, sometimes he's getting locked into sentry skills or reflected through uh, silver surfer skills, but if you play proper and, you know, be careful, avoid the silver surfers, uh, uh, you know, reflect, and how you're gonna do it is doing 4 cancel 5 when Silver Surfer is up. When Silver Surfer is up, you can use his 5th skill because he is hiding himself into an iframe, Adam Warlock we were talking about, and this iframe is not getting any reflect back. You don't want to use your 2nd skill against any Silver Surfer. Here I enable his immortality from before with my sentry and now it's only 1 second left, so my 5th skill gonna kill him. I do that with Logan also, the 5th skill, you're staying into the iframe and you're giving time on your 2nd skill to charge again and go the enemies down. Uh, now let's see how, yeah, I was trying to do uh, Ace here too, yeah, hat trick, triple kill, whatever, but uh, this sentry was wild, I killed him once, I killed the enemy Silver Surfer, but I feel like Thanos uh, gives me gives me some sugar yeah no uh okay same story like before here i almost killed him look at this revive bro i mean he's healing it's crazy i swapped into sentry just to be sure and i slapped him down uh he has no chance and yes this is the last fight similar team yeah i was fighting the same teams you know if you find that you can kill a team it's no bad going there and uh, utilize the enemy team to get the maximum out of your uh, timeline battle wins, you know, why not? I mean, the game gives you this opportunity to utilize enemy teams over and over, you know, fight against the same enemies. Uh, the enemy, oh my god, bro, oh my god, the enemy sentry dismantled my uh, Adam Warlock, but yeah, here! Oh, it was sentry. Okay, okay, yeah. I just killed them. And you can see, I have 6,838 points. And let me show you my score. This is the score I managed to do. I was rank 163 and I had 78 wins and 2 loses. I lost against a dude that was using uh, Thanos and uh, 
Silver Surfer, I think, Thanos Lead and Silver Surfer and Colossus. Uh, I can't remember his name, but he is quite, uh, you, you know, he's all the time there. Perhaps we saw him here, but look at this, guys, look at this. I was a, I, I haven't used anything right now, okay? And look at these dudes, okay? This is r the rank 5 dude, okay? He has played 180, 115 wins and 7 loses, so more than 123 games compared to my 80 games. Orphneos, another Greek dude, uh, made it to Challenger here. Frozen Archer was last week, Orphneos was this week. I was trying to go also into Challenger this week to have more Greeks there, but yeah, I, uh, you're gonna find out what end up happening. Uh, but yes, Orphneos, he told me that one hour before the challenge, you know, the weekly restart, people went crazy. He ended up having from 8,000 points uh, that he has right now uh, 9,800. That means that he refreshed the timing here. I think it's like uh, two hours before the weekly reset. Two hours before the weekly reset, he had 8,000. And after he had to play three or four more times to refresh. And I'm going to explain what refresh means and all this stuff and what I'm talking about uh, worth it or not, you know. So, Ornos here, uh, good job, bro. 150 games for him until then, 140 here. And all these numbers are similar, guys. And you know why these numbers are similar? Uh, are similar because all of these people have bought support uh sealed support sealed support actually look at this 130 and this is two hours before the reset let me show you here you can see here that there there is one hour and 54 minutes before the reset so this was the this was the progress of people on timeline battle two hours before the reset that means after as I saw also myself, a lot of people start doing even more uh, refresh on the crystals, even more 125 crystals spent. Look at this, 140, 130. And if you go through and spend on a sealed support, you have the sealed support for a period of two weeks. Okay, two weeks. I was here, I was here and checking uh, wh what I need to do to be able to go through. As you can see here, Letien was uh, the rank 100 and he has 7,136 and I had 6,800. So potentially if I didn't lost, if I haven't lost, I hadn't lost these two losses, perhaps I would be able to be here with the same amount of uh, points, but way less wins versus loses. Why I'm saying that? I'm saying that because if you are understanding what is going on here, uh, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous and I feel like PvP need to be fixed somehow. But if you go through uh, the details here and see what you are getting on Vibranium, you are getting from rank 11 to rank 50, 875 crystals. 875. You have to consider that if you play on manual and you manage to go here or here, you're getting 200. So let's put this down. You're getting 200 for free. And if you manage to go to uh, rank 11 to 50, I'm not saying about the rank 1 to 10 because it's really hard and we're going to figure out what it needed to go and spend to go here, okay? So let's pretend that you manage to go into rank 11 to 50. Congratulations, you are in Challenger. But what you have spent at the moment to get 675, let's say, 675 crystals from the game on Timeline Battle, which is equal to $7 or 7 euro. If you go and buy now without having Black Friday, you know, it's like 7 euros or $7. Okay, keep that in mind. To go and get the sealed support, as I mentioned, you need to go here and uh, buy this pack here for $10 or 10 euro and having for two weeks the, the bonus, how to, where is it? 
Uh, sealed support, okay. I, you can't see that here, but uh, pretty much you can refresh your timeline bottle every single week. The moment you buy this, you have double refresh on your timeline bottle. So, you have to spend $10, $10 for two weeks. $10 for two weeks means $5 per week. So, you're paying $5 to be able to get 875 crystals on timeline bottle two times so it's 1700 the moment you're winning 1700 crystals there and you have already spent ten dollars for this means that you have a, a win on uh, you know uh, you have win actually uh, a really good deal of spending your money but also you need to consider that in the end of the day you need to do more refreshes and play even more games as you can see here i have played only 30 and the first dude already have played 88 that means he has already refreshed and the refresh means one dollar so it's crazy but timeline but right now it's like a hamster wheel players going there inside the hamster wheel paying real money paying crystals to be part of challenger league uh with like 50 other dudes which is really awesome you know the way the buffs works the way the gameplay different uh but yeah is this worth it is this worth the time that you need to spend to play manual to be there 100 percent and pay attention you know and after you have to pay real dollars or all for all the week or you can go and spend crystals the amount of crystals you need to spend it's equal to money also you know there is no way you can go and do two refreshes or three refreshes or four refreshes of 125 if you do four refreshes of 125 that means that you have spent already 500 crystals so you end up getting 875 crystals and you have already spent you know 500 crystals this is disgusting guys this is i mean worth only for the top 10 and the top 10 need already to spend a lot i end up not going into the challenger because i want to save crystals and money for the update that is coming you know for that's for but i mean it's really weird and in the past it wasn't like that in the past even without this uh, sealed support you could go there but now the top 100 all of them have this sealed support and when they are pushing the wins and the loses you know you can see here it's no it, it's not like people start refreshing right now uh they have all all of these dudes have the sealed support so all of these dudes trying to get uh you know use the sealed support, okay, this dude haven't, but it's like one in all of this amount of players. Okay, another one. Two out of two, three out of, okay, you can see they are dropping ranks, you know, it's rank 75 and people haven't played yet for dailies. Yeah, if they play for dailies, I haven't played myself, so yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna be different. But yeah, the point is that this should Chains. Somehow, Netmarble need to figure out a way PvP have some fun and have some winning value. If you win in timeline battle, you're not winning. You're just playing more the game. And is this a victory for the game? Yes, I guess they're seeing the numbers of people playing timeline battle like crazy, you know. But in the end of the day, you play all this and with the amount of money you need to spend and the crystals you need to spend, you would go and buy crystals or save your crystals. You're going to get the same value. Right now, like the game it is, if you don't go rank 1 to 10, you're losing. And to go rank 1 to 10, it's really close sometimes for you uh, that you're going to end up not winning a lot. I mean, 1,750, if you have done like 6 to 7 refreshes to get them and you have pay sealed support, yeah, you, you're not getting not even 700 crystals. And if you go minus the 202 that you are going to get, even if you don't refresh like I did, you know, it's even less the things that you're getting. So, all this just to tell you that I failed to go into Challenger and I had to find an excuse for myself. But yeah, if you think about it, guys, it's kind of stupid. We need to fix that. I need, I want to play Challenger. I want to be there 
top 50. But yeah, my time is not, uh, you know, the, the amount of time I need to spend, materials and all this dedication to play the game doesn't really feels like I'm gonna get rewarded. The only reward is gonna be the prestige and uh, playing against others with all this weird um, buffs and stuff, which is really fun. I have done a video on Challenger, uh, but yes, as it seems, I'm not gonna go do it again anytime soon. That was it. I hope I helped you decide how to play with your characters on the manual timeline battle to explain you how it goes with the timeline battle in general. And let me know down below in the comments your thoughts about the PvP and what you should think should be fixed. Another thing I didn't mention is that this is the main reason of this thing happening right now. It's the lack of proper uh, restricted characters. Yeah, there is no restricted characters. The last two weeks there is no restricted characters and they know how to do that for other world battle, but they are afraid to do it on this. If we, look at this, other world battle has everyone banned. Every single meta character is banned. And on timeline battle, no, they don't. They can't do that. So because everyone has the good characters, Everyone believe in their capability to play the game. Everyone together is pushing. And this meta is out of order, you know. You can't win nothing. You can't win nothing on timeline and it's lame. It's needed to be fixed somehow. I don't know. Let me know thoughts. Let me know your opinion. Hope you enjoy my rounding again. Back to back second rounding video. This time for timeline battle and because I lost. <laughs> See you into the next. Kisses in your faces!